Welcome to Boodley Books. Today's book is a beautiful book. I think it should be added to every library. This is called When Spring Comes to the DMZ by Uk Bay Lee. DMZ, that's Demilitarized Zone. This is a book that takes place in Korea. You can see the map of the world and right here there you can see Korea separated into North Korea and South Korea. And that line is the demilitarized zone, the DMZ, that separates the two parts of the country. When spring comes to the DMZ. This book is published by Plow Publishing House, and it's translated by Chung Yong Wan and Eileen Wan. When spring comes to the DMZ, green shoots spring up in the meadows. But you cannot go there because the razor wire fence is blocking the way. When spring comes to the DMZ, the seal family swims from Bohai Bay to Bangyong Island. Warships from South Korea and North Korea Face off in the sea near the island, but the seals come and go freely. When spring comes to the DMZ, soldiers check the fence and fix the broken places. Grandfather climbs up to the DMZ observatory and looks at the northern sky. When spring comes to the DMZ, the birds return to the Imjin River. They build nests, hatch their young, and make a loving family. Wow, look at all those different kinds of birds. Some like to live in, near the water, some are up in the trees. You can see the mommy duck with her little babies following. It's a beautiful place. When summer comes to the DMZ, the Otter brothers and sisters cool off on hot days by playing in the water, and the young water deer nibble on water lily leaves. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see a very interesting animal in this picture. There's a deer, and it has tusks. Do you see the deer on the right? The male deer of this variety have tusks. When summer comes to the DMZ, the soldiers march in line and undergo exhausting training. Grandfather goes up to the DMZ again and stares out over the northern land. See the cameras watching the demilitarized zone, making sure that nobody, no humans are out there. When autumn comes to the DMZ, the salmon from the Pacific Ocean swim many miles upstream to return to the place where they were born. They smell the water of their home, struggle bravely upstream, lay their eggs, and so finish their lives. When autumn comes to the DMZ, the leaves in the Gojingdong Valley turn bright colors and the baby mountain goat follows its mother, jumping up the steep mountainside. When autumn comes to the DMZ, the soldiers practice with their tanks and fighter planes. Grandfather goes to the DMZ once again and looks at the empty northern sky. I don't know if you've ever tried using those binoculars. You put a coin in and then you can look out over the country for quite a while. When winter comes to the DMZ, on the mountains and meadows, 
and on the fence that divides the south and the north, the white snow blossoms. You can see from the footprints that someone has been checking and patrolling along the fence. When winter comes to the DMZ, birds from the north fly south over the wide Chirwan Plains, calling out, doo 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 doo, doo doo doo, quang quang, kiruk, kiruk. When winter comes to the DMZ, the soldiers from the south and the soldiers from the north look at the round moon and think of their homes. Grandfather climbs up to the DMZ lookout again and gazes at the snow-covered northern land. When spring comes to the DMZ again, Grandfather no longer wants to climb the stairs to look at the DMZ. There are lots of warning signs in, the, in this picture, uh, written in Korean. Some of you can read these signs. They're saying you cannot enter, go back, stop. This is a beautiful illustration. Starts with a gate. Grandfather wants to fling the tightly locked gates wide open open. I love this part of the book. Here are the gates, keeping people from crossing over, keeping the north from the south. And this is what grandfather wants to do. Of course, it's locked and he cannot, but this is his dream, to fling the gates wide open and open up that whole area. Look at that, all those animals, that wide open space where no people are allowed to go. If you look carefully, you can see parts of old bombs and things from war scattered in the wilderness. And the animals, they just walk past and around and they live their lives. This is what grandfather wants to do. He wants to walk out into the green meadow and lie in the sunny grass looking up at the blue sky. You can see grandfather and his grandson in the front of the picture. And on one side of the page, you can see another grandfather coming from the other side, coming from North Korea with his granddaughter. Because this is grandfather's beloved home country. And I love this picture at the end. It's people from the north and people from the south embracing in the middle. These could be two brothers who haven't seen each other for a long, long time. I know that many people one day hope that North and South Korea will be reunited once again. And that's the end. Thank you for joining me when spring comes to the DMZ.